Hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And where G-Bear is about to rant again. And G-Bear is so pissed off right now, he could bite through a truck tire on the freeway and make it go flat. I'm telling you, this is bullshit. And excuse my French. I got the new phone today, after all day waiting. It finally got here like 6.30 or something like that, p.m. And I had to drive up the road to my neighbors, about a five-mile drive one way, so that's 10 miles more I had it on. I came home, and remember now, yesterday when I drove that 40-mile round trip to the Verizon store, I made sure that I, I pressed the guy that was sell, sending me the new phone. I made sure I told him, make sure you send it with an eSIM in it and activate it. And he said, yes, we will do that. And I got the phone and guess what? It says no SIM included. So I called tech support and I said, what's going on here? And I said, I've got an IMEI number here on a piece of paper but it's telling me there is no eSIM in this phone. And I said, well, you have to have the phone activated before we can get an, uh, an eSIM uh, activated. I said, now what the hell is this shit that you're talking about? The first phone I got, I just took it out of the box, I turned it power on, and it went right through the setup with an eSIM already installed. Now you're telling me that you, I can't get an eSIM already installed. I've got to install it after I activate the phone. So she says, well, if you take the SIM out of your phone right now and put it in the new phone, you can activate the new phone. I says, yeah, but then my old phone is dead and I can't get my information transferred. How's that going to work? And, and she goes, oh, yeah, you can't do that. No kidding. So now I've got to make another trip to that store 40 mile round trip to the, to that Verizon store again tomorrow and have them set up the new phone. Boy, am I fit to be tied. And I mean tied with chains. Rope ain't going to do it. I am really, really angry here. And I just laid into that girl on the phone and I said, look, I know it's not your fault, but since you work for this company, you are getting the yelling at right now. And you can pass the word on to the store I'm going to tomorrow, if you know about it. You can pass the word on tomorrow. When they see me coming, they better tuck their tails and run and hide somewhere. Because the first person I get a hold of is not going to be a happy camper for the whole day. They're going to go home and tell whoever it is they talk to when they get home. This was the worst day of my life. Because as soon as they get that new phone set up, before I even test it out at, at my place to see if it helped any, which I doubt because so far, all of the stuff that was promised me about this new phone they just sent me has not come true. They've lied to me again. So the very, th very minute that that new phone is activated, I'm going to say, well, let's see how this thing works. And I'm going to call the CEO of Verizon in New York, right there from their store. And I'm going to tell them, even if I have to do it on voicemail, I'm going to lay into the, the CEO and let them know that I'm at store number such and such. And I have been given the runaround and my expenses on getting this new phone set up far exceeds the cost of the phone far exceeds it this is bs and i'm not happy and i'm sorry but you guys have got to listen to my rant because if i don't rant right now i'm going to go inside and break something and i don't want to break anything that i own i don't have any money to replace it this is really ridiculous anyway that's my rant for today You'll see what happens tomorrow. Boy, I don't think I better um, take my CCW with me. I better make sure I lock that up at, uh, in the safe at home. 
because I'm I'm fit to be tied right now. Of course, I'm not I'm not a psycho or anything like that, so it, that would never happen. But I don't want to get pushed to the limit. And some little snot-nosed brat gives me any shit at the store, and there's gonna be some trouble. I'm glad they have a security guard there. Anyway, let's look at this. Neat little moon up there in the sky. Little sliver at the bottom of the moon. So cute. That's because the sun just set over there, so it's reflecting off the bottom of the moon. Oh, well, that's it. Totally calm. 84 degrees today. Uh, for those of you on the Celsius scale, that's uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Just beautiful. Just a beautiful day. Except for this phone problem. Now, if I go in and I start uploading this video and it drops my service again right in the middle of the video and makes me reload it, boy, is that going to add gasoline to this fire. Woo-wee! <laughs> Don't forget to read the comments below this video, everybody, and see if there's anything more that I have added. You may get a kick out of that. So... The saga goes on. This is G-Bear signing off.